This is Kato. The orca is the star of the show at this marine park on Tenerife in the Canary Islands. The killer whale appears to follow his trainer's every command. Together with five other orcas, the two-ton mammal thrills visitors to the Loro Paque every day. This is a photo of Cato with his former trainer, Alexis Hernandez. His mother says Alexis always had a special connection to animals and that he was considered the most experienced orca trainer at the Loro Parque. Until December of 2009, when something happened that his mother still finds hard to grasp. Cato attacked and killed Alexis, his trainer. But that only became public knowledge much later. In its line of business, the park had no interest in saying what really happened, namely a brutal orca attack, because that would have had a negative impact on visitor numbers. So they played it down, claiming that it was the fault of the trainer, not the orca. Yet the autopsy report clearly states that Alexis Hernandez's body displayed shark bites and internal injuries. But to this day, the marine park's owner won't call it an orca attack. How do I explain it? It was an accident. Accidents happen. I can't say more than that. But the animal is still with us today. The animal is loving, sociable, and friendly. How should I know how it happened? These words are like a slap in the face for Mercedes Hernandez. The police investigation into those responsible went nowhere. Meanwhile, Mercedes Hernandez has read a lot about orcas in the wild. She's learned how they travel in pods and often work together, about their high intelligence and their ability to swim over 100 kilometers a day. Now she's fighting to free the very animals which killed her son. The traumatic experience with Alexis at Laurel Park has been a lesson for me and my family. It's created an awareness. Now we understand that it's wrong to allow animals to be cooped up like this for shows whose sole purpose is entertainment. It's not right. But at Loro Parque, the show goes on. The marine park and zoo welcomed a record number of visitors in 2016, over a million. Its director claims the park plays a role in protecting the environment. He says the orcas act as ambassadors for wildlife conservation. We're so alienated from nature. Our children grow up in cities and often know little of the world around them. We're surrounded by technical gadgets, but forget we're also surrounded by great creatures worth protecting. They're threatened by overfishing and plastic waste in the seas, and we want to create an awareness of that. But Mercedes Hernandez believes this is just a pretext. She says there's no lack of opportunities to experience nature on the Canary Islands. Around the Canaries, in the sea right around us, there are around 30 different varieties of whales. So especially here in this environment, it's a huge contradiction to hold them captive. That only leads to suffering, and I think it's immoral to keep animals caged up. Mercedes Hernandez finds peace and solace at this little bay. Here she feels especially close to her son. She's convinced Alexis would understand her campaign to free the killer whales. She believes deep down he'd have known that orcas belong in the open sea. <laughs> 